Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. I'm doing another thrift haul. I know, I bet you guys are kind of sick of it, but um, I'm really enjoying filming them, especially since I sort of changed up the way I film thrift hauls. Do I need to light this side of my face? Hang on. Actually can't tell if that's better. Let's go without. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, ever since I changed up the format of how I film hauls, I now do them the Lucy Wood way because her hauls are just my favourite to watch. I got really, really bored of hauls for a really long time and then I found Lucy Wood's hauls and videos in general and they just brought a breath of fresh air back into the haul thing. So, I really like filming them again now and like I said, we've got another thrift haul. This is over... This is several trips worth. This wasn't all in one day. I don't feel like I really need to go on about it. I'm just gonna go into it, I think. Um, it's honestly not my most favorite thrift haul I've ever done. Like, I mean, I might change my mind today, but um, there isn't anything I'm like so over the moon obsessed in love with. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Most of it as well is really summery, so I probably won't get to wear any of it now because it's like, what, a week into August or something? So, and we've ha hardly had like decent weather this year anyway, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the first top which was one of my favourites until I got home and put it on, to be honest. Um, I feel like this top would be perfect if there was just a little bit more fabric going on so that I didn't have to wear a vest under it. Like, this would be perfect if I could just like put it on over a bra because if there was just like a bit more fabric here because I just think it would look loads better. Just imagine. Just imagine that I'm not doing this right now. Just like that would look a lot better. So it's kind of... <sighs> of course there's going to be a dog barking throughout this whole video. I just feel like it would have looked better like that and do you know what i would have loved to have seen this in some high-waisted white skinny jeans some like browny tan kind of wedges like real summer summer goodness but um yeah it just i don't love it i mean it doesn't look terrible it doesn't look terrible but this is a vest stop that i have rolled up and tucked under my bra because otherwise it's just like a full length one I don't like how it looks with having like a longer vest coming down, so I'm just like looking in the mirror. But um, I mean, yes, in theory, I could have it undone and just like loosey goosey. Not really here for it though, but like, do you see what I mean when I say like, obviously you'd have to give it a little tuck there, but I just don't feel it. I just wish there was more fabric, oh, I mean looser. Maybe when it's done looser, it's not too bad, but I suppose I did have it quite like, had it quite tight, didn't I? So maybe just a bit looser like that is not as bad. But I don't know, I'll see, I'll have a little play with it. I think that actually looks better like that. Uh, let me just whack it off so I can tell you how much it was and stuff. Um, originally from Primark, brand new with tags. It was a little bit expensive because it was in Primark, it was only originally £8 and they charged £5 for it. I probably would have put £2.49 on it if I was pricing it when I worked in the shop. You're supposed to do a third of the original price. I can't work out a third of eight because it's not like, I could do a third of six, obviously, but anyway. But yeah, it's really cute and I really like it. I just kind of wish I would have tried it on in the shop because then I might have, maybe might have changed my mind about it. I think as well, this is like, I think this is the most expensive thing out of everything I bought, a fiver. So, you know, I'm not going to show this on because it's a bit weird, but I also got a slip. This was one ninety nine in, I believe the shop was Deborah. It's just a white slip. I might have to cut it, which is a shame because it's got a really cute little hemline. Um, but I have got a black slip and I've got a nude slip, but I don't have a white slip. So yeah, I got this for one ninety nine. I think I will cut it because it won't go under a lot of my short dresses, obviously. Um, but I love slips because so many things are see-through nowadays, so I do love a good slip. Next, I have got this 
kind of vintagey t-shirt um, which I got in Wisdom Hospice for £2.50. It says USA St. Pete Beach, Florida and it's just a t-shirt I got in the men's section. So let's whack this on and have a little look at it. Okay, so it's obviously massive. I'm just going to kind of fold it up like that for the minute. Um, but yeah, I actually thought I would hate the neck. Actually, I'm not sure on the neck. <laughs> looking at it now um but i think i'm gonna make this a little diy project to be honest let me just fold up the sleeves because that does make a huge amount of difference i bought some fabric scissors the other day so i think i'm gonna have a little bit of a play with this i'm actually not mad about this length so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut it to this length so it's not too cropped, but you can always just do a little tuck if you wanted to. I think I will cut a little bit off the sleeves and then roll them up and maybe like put a little stitch in. And then at the end, I will decide on whether I want to get rid of this kind of neck bit here. Um, but other than that, I really like it. It's nice. It is ridiculous when you pull it down like this. It could be a dress. I'm actually not mad about it as a dress, but it is a smidge too short to be a dress. But, um, yeah guys, you've got to check out that men's section for some t-shirts, because I really like this. I really like the navy and everything, I just think it's nice. I enjoy it. And, um, where was it from? I think it was just like a Fruit of the Loom one, to be honest with you. So, yeah. That's that. It's very hot to be wearing this right now though, so... Let's move on to the next thing. Here is another t-shirt that I got in the Wisdom Hospice. It was £3.50 and it is from Gap. It's another navy t-shirt and it's got little white stripes on it. I've got quite a few things that this would look really nice with. Let's try her on. So I really love the shape of this. It's really a nice, light, summery, flowy material. And it's also the kind of top that can really easily just be dressed up or down, um, which I really like. Again, I really like the navy. I love the sleeves. I just love the shape. I think even if it didn't have the white detailing on the sleeves, I still would have probably lent towards this top because I just really love a light, flowy navy top. I actually have another one similar to this from Monsoon, I think. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. Happy I got it. And... Uh, don't really have a whole lot to say on it because it kind of just is what it is, you know? Handy thing to have in your wardrobe though. Okay, so the next t-shirt I saw in the Shaw Trust charity shop and I literally just caught it out the corner of my eye and I thought to myself, I'll probably never wear that in public, but I wouldn't be being true to myself if I didn't buy this because this, my friends, is a Louis Theroux t-shirt <laughs> and it's Louis Theroux and Alice in Wonderland because it's Louis Theroux the looking glass and then you've got a gorgeous picture of Lulu there with a little you know like a little thing and lucky him he gets to join the collection with my other Louis Theroux top <laughs> I think this one was three quid and it says as new on it and uh, this one is like kind of huge I haven't tried it on yet um but I mean, I have worn this one out in public because I think this one is just a little bit cooler and this one will just be like a kind of around the house one. Okay, I'm not going to lie, I actually think this is really cute and I would not be opposed to wearing it out in public. Actually, to be honest, I just really love the colour. I love this blue against this, or this orange and yellow against the blue. I think it looks really nice, actually. So I'm not mad about this. I can't wait to have like a whole weekend where I just re-watch loads of Louis Theroux documentaries I wear this one on the Saturday my other one on the Sunday what time to be alive that will be <laughs> my obsession continues roll up roll up we've got another one here we've got this little kind of pinstripey little cami top it's very cute it's got little buttons going down there and this is from Banana Republic <laughs> very posh um, I got it in Marie Curie for two pounds and seventy pence Let's give her a try, shall we? I've not tried this one on yet, so how exciting it will be. Please don't mind my bra straps. I'm just having a look in the mirror. I don't love this with these jeans. 
might just want to <clears throat> have a little tuck, have a little bit of a manoeuvre. Nah. Doesn't look great, but for the purpose of this, it'll do. So, yeah, this is it. <clears throat> Having a hay fever attack right now. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's not like I'm in love with it or anything, but it's, again, a nice little basic. It's a nice twist on, like, a boring cami top. Um, it could probably be dressed up or down. That's always something I look at. Well, not always, but a lot of the time when I'm buying clothes, a big selling point for me is often, can I dress it up and dress it down? This one, I think you can, because again, it has that nice little pinstripe, but then it's also nice and summery, like this would look nice with like linen trousers, or it would look nice with jeans and heels or something, like for something a bit smart casual. So yeah, I think this is also the first piece of Banana Republic clothing I've ever owned, so it feels nice quality and everything. It's fine, it's cool. Let's maybe just check out material and washing instructions wash at 30 100 percent 100 percent cotton wash at 30 so yeah nice little summery top can't go wrong really can you i forgot to show you this top on the hanger while i still have the other one on but this is from tu which is sainsbury's and it was one pound in AGK, and I really, really like this. It's probably one of my favourites. It's a little bit big, it's a size 16, so I've got a bit of, like the straps don't want to stay up. But at the back I could probably, probably, I'm not sure, um, adjust them. There's also ruching at the back, which is nice, so it's like comfortable enough. It's a kind of vintage-y kind of style, and I just really like it, I think it's really nice. Um, I have a skirt in this haul I think it could look nice with, but they're two different check prints, so I've got, another, I've got a check print skirt to show you in a little bit, but I feel like they might be able to look nice, but I'm not sure yet. We'll try it on in a bit later. But yeah, £1, and I think it's, it's basically like new, it's just really nice condition, clean, no marks, no nothing, so very pleased with this. I do love me some check or gingham or whatever you want to call it. I may or may not have another Hawaiian shirt to add to my collection. But this one is actually like a proper female one. So it's like a nice length, nicely fitted, and it's a genuine Hawaiian shirt made in Hawaii. This is Pacific Legend Apparel, made in Hawaii, USA. It was £4 in cat's protection, and look how cute it is. It's got bloody flamingos on it, hasn't it? Let's whack her on and have a look, shall we? Oh, would you look at this? How cute is that? Might be a little bit. Might just do a little unbutton there. Oh, this is cute. I like this. I like my men's Hawaiian shirts, but it's nice to have one that's like made to fit a woman's body type. So yeah, this is so cute, isn't it? Oh. Here for it. Not mad about this. Not mad at all. Am I wearing my contact lenses? Because this, I can't see very well in the viewfinder. Am I wearing my contact lenses? I need something to read from far away. I think I am. That was weird. I couldn't tell for a minute. Oh, I know how I could have told. I could have looked at something really close up and yeah, I can't. Anyway, uh, yeah, how cute is this? I really like it. If you want to see what it looks like not tied up, here you go. This one's for you. This is like, this is business, this is pleasure. <laughs> okay, that was a weird thing to say. Um, so yeah, I obviously could just unbutton it and have a little vest on underneath. So I'm very pleased with my authentic Hawaiian shirt. And that's it for tops. Oh, I've got another one, but I'll uh, do them in a little bit. Um, ma -ma 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 -ma. Um, I've got two dresses, this one, they're both from TU. I've got a lot of TU stuff. Um, this I got in a charity shop that isn't a chain one, so I don't actually know what it's called. And it was £3.50 and it is navy? I think navy striped, a really like loose fitting 
summery dress. It does have little belt loops, but I feel like this sits below your waist, so a belt might look a little bit strange. I did try it on at the time, but I'm honestly not too sure. Um, it has a really cute little button here, which has got an anchor on it, which is nice. So um, let's get that on and have a little look. Okay, so this is the dress with nothing done to it. Like, this is just it hanging how it hangs. I think it hangs in a strange place because it just goes straight across my tummy. When really, you want a dress that's like this kind of cut. You really want it more up here. I feel like. It's a nice length though for work. Not that I think I'm going to have many dress days left really. But let me just see if I can get a belt on this. Okay, so I think it definitely looks better with a little belt around it. But the only problem is, is that the belt doesn't, because it's like longer, the belt doesn't really sit on the shape. So you have to kind of pull it up, have a little play with it. But in reality, you can't be keeping an eye on that all day. But um, it definitely looks better with a little bit of cinching at the waist, I think, anyway, because I think it's just hung at a weird place on me. I'm not sure. But um, for like just a kind of no fuss kind of look, and there's nothing wrong with it. Put it with a little straw bag, maybe put it with a little straw hat. So, um, yeah, it's just again a nice little dress to have. I'm so used to. Dresses having pockets nowadays, I get really upset when there isn't any. But um, it is also lined, which is sort of unheard of in high street dresses. Like, you don't often get a lined dress, so this is nice. I don't have to wear a slip under it. Um, so that's really cool. And yeah, I do like it. It's just a little bit annoying, like, that that drops down at the back, and then you might want to, like, have to do that. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I have another dress, and this dress reminds me of Greece. You might know what I mean. So you know those beautiful like blue and white houses in like the old towns of some Greek places? This really reminds me of that. Do you know what I mean? So again, this is from TU. This was $2.99 and it's kind of the perfect summer holiday dress. So I won't be wearing it anytime soon, but it will be a nice one to pack away and if a, if a holiday does happen to arise then what a perfect dress I have for it. Again, this dress is lined. I don't know, the lined gods were looking down on me when I went shopping because we've got another lined dress. It's very short, I will say that. Uh, it's very short and very really flowy so it is really just like a good holiday dress. Unless you've got your little shorts on underneath which I often do wear those little cycle shorts anyway so it's not too much of an issue. How Cute and pretty is this, and if my tan was a little bit deeper, it would just look so nice. Um, but yeah, it's really comfy as well. It's a size 16, so it's a size up from what I normally wear, which is just perfect. I think at a size 14, this wouldn't have been very comfortable at all, but I kind of am in love with it. I enjoy it very much. I want my goal in life to one day go to a cute little Greek island, I haven't been to one before, but go to one, maybe go to Mykonos, that seems to be the place where all the cool kids are going, and then pose next to one of those white and blue houses in my white and blue dress and just be like, bitches, I made it. Yes. <laughs> and that's the sadness of my life. I've got a skirt. This is not done up, which is great. So we've got ourselves a denim wrap A-line mini skirt from ASOS. It's in a blacky kind of denim with little buttons here. It wraps over. It's a little bit big for me. It's very windy outside. Um, but nevertheless, I will show it to you. Even if it falls down to my knees and leaves me with nothing on, I will show it to you. So I probably wouldn't actually wear it with this top, although to be fair, I'm not sure I actually will wear it at all because it's, I've got a lot of room back there. It's pretty big, which I'm actually really surprised at. Usually my size 14 stuff just comes up really small on me. Um, this was three pounds in cents, by the way, but the thing is, is that it's a wrap over skirt. So, without showing you too much, I think on this side, I could potentially move the button, maybe? And then that way, oh no, I need to move the hole, oh, it's the hole that's the issue. Can I be bothered to make a whole new buttonhole? 
I just don't know. But then will this match up anyway? No, I don't think it will. So, um, um, maybe actually in the winter time with a jumper tucked in won't be an issue. Let's just button her back up because I actually do have a jumper in this summer haul to show you. Um, this is from a boot fair. Hang on. So last weekend I went to a boot fair, I was having no luck and I ended up doing the I'm going to buy this for the sake of it because I haven't bought anything else. This is a jumper, brand new from H&M, was originally £18 and it was reduced to 7 I got it in the boot fair for £2 and I only bought it because it has the year I was born on. Narcissism at its finest. Um, so I haven't tried, this is, this is an extra small scary times but it looks like it would fit I hope it will fit oh it's too hot to put a jumper on uh, uh, too hot too hot uh. but yeah as my theory suspected it does fit a little bit better now I've got a little jumper on so this will look cute with some tights and some boots or some tights and some converse or something come those wintry months i'm not mad about this it looks all right but i am sweating so bad please help me now i've got a pair of jeggings to show you next jeggings are cool don't want to hear otherwise. When you eat as much as I do, jeggings are a necessity. These are the Emily jeggings from New Look. I paid £2.50 for them in scents. And what drew me to them is the fact they've got belt loops. You don't often get belt loops on jeggings, so let's get this jumper off before I melt. And let's show you the coolest clothing in the world, which is obviously a jegging. Ah, oh, freedom. See, the beauty of belt loop jeggings is that to the untrained eye, you don't know these are jeggings unless you're really checking out this area to spot a fly and a zip. You ain't gonna know that I'm wearing jeggings and that I am way comfier than you because bitch has got elasticated waist. So I would say this is £2.50 or however much it was well spent. And they're just, they're actually just a really good skinny jean as well. Like they are like a denim, obviously they're like a denim with like elastic or something in, but they're a really decent length. They're a decent fit. I am here for them and I cannot wait for autumn winter days where I eat to my heart's content and don't have to unbutton my fly at the end of it. Also, I know a white belt might be a bit of a controversial statement, but, um, I'm all right with it. Doesn't bother me too much. Speaking of controversial, controversial, it's a hard word to say, isn't it? Controversial statements. Um, I'm going to double denim because I've got a little denim jacket to show you. Again, this is from Sense. It is originally a little new look number, and it was four pounds. Four pounds for a denim jacket. Don't mind if I do. Um, I have got a denim jacket, I've got like a nice big oversized vintage style one but I don't have a kind of normal sized one, um, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit small, that, that, I will give you that information for nothing, but um, wow this is a look, the double denim, the white on white, I am I'm going to win Fashion Influencer of the Year Award 2019. Yes, I am. But yeah, um, like I said, it's a little bit tight, but it's not anything that is too sad. I could cut the arms off and make it just a denim vest. Another strong statement look. But uh, it's a good thing to have in your wardrobe, a denim jacket. I said it, and I mean it. However, it is very hot. So let's move swiftly on. I've got uh, a pair of trousers. These are a little bit on the posher side. These were $3.99 in Oxfam and they are from the Lipsy Michelle Keegan collection. Now here's the thing. Normally, yes I'm just going to stand and talk like this, like Simon Cowell. Normally when I'm charity shopping, I bypass the like 
standard formal trousers like I don't have time for them but something about these made me stop and I looked in the label and I saw the words Michelle Keegan and I was like Michelle Keegan is probably one of the most beautiful women ever in my opinion I have a major girl crush on her and I thought to myself well if I wear these trousers that have her name on I might look like Michelle Keegan now I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not going to happen because Michelle Keegan doesn't have a very badly dyed mullet hair with a dodgy tan but we'll see and I might put a pair of heels on so you can just really imagine them worn in the way God intended um, they've just got a little side zip they also have zips on the back I don't know why maybe uh, to air out your ankles I'm not sure the zip might be for decoration because oh no it's not so it's unzipped at the back I don't know maybe Michelle just really loves the back of her what's that bit called your Achilles heel I don't know I don't know I'm gonna stop talking it's the heat it's this summer heat I tell ya fully feel like Michelle Keegan in these trousers it has to be said maybe if I dye my hair brown and get extensions let's go all the way back here where it's potentially going to be out of focus but hopefully you'll get the picture I dressed them up like I said I would I put the heels on I feel I feel like Catwoman right now to be honest um no do you know what I feel like I feel like um I'm going to a funeral in Rosewood You'll either get that reference or you won't. Um, so here are my thoughts on the trousers. They fit nicely. That's not an issue. But they have a lot of weird fabric things going on here. Like this thing goes out here and I'm not sure why. There's also like weird lines and panels going along. It does nothing for my bum. No, nothing. Um, but you know what? Everyone needs a pair of black trousers in the back of the wardrobe. You never know when you're gonna go to a funeral or job interview. Facts are facts. Um, let's unzip the cheeky little uh, ankle zip or back of the leg zip if I can. Oh, the freedom. Does this really add much to the equation? The answer is no. So, to summarise, did I buy these trousers because I thought I might look like Michelle Keegan in them? Yes. Do I look like Michelle Keegan in them? No. Do I hate them? No. This little bit here is strange to me. I don't understand what it's for. But hey, a pair of lipsy trousers for four pounds that's not something you can get angry about so you know it's all good it's all fine I am so hot so much fun to wear some heels though we're just like bang, bang, bang. I think I've actually only worn these heels once it was to a funeral and they were so uncomfortable it was a fun time I've got four skirts and one top remaining this is the top i'm gonna whack on with the skirts i don't care if it doesn't go it's the one that we're getting uh this is a primark top 1.99 in the pdsa it's a nice like little powder vintage blue crop top with little buttons and like i said it's gonna get put on with skirts even if they might not go <sighs> so hot can't cope. Let's get these shoes off. Hi, neighbour. I'm just going to move away here. That's. I wonder how many of my neighbours have seen me. One, film videos. Two, just naked. Three, dancing. Probably a lot. Okay, so I've got this little vintage slip midi skirt. I wouldn't style it like this. 
I'd actually wear this with just like a plain white tee tied up with some Converse or something. But um, this is vintage from BHS. I got it in Cancer Research for three pounds. And I mean, the colours go nicely together, but I don't think I'd wear it with this. Um, but yeah, that is just a little floral midi skirt. Midi? No, it's actually knee length. It's not really midi, is it? I can't get away with calling this a midi. No way. I've got two skirts that are pretty much the same. They are both from Bon Marche. They are buttoned down. They are vintage. They are both a size 14. They both came with matching belts. This one doesn't have it on at the minute. I got these in the PDSA for $3.99. I've already worn this one out. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it was obviously some dear elder lady had probably died and just donated all of her, someone on her behalf donated all of her skirts because there was probably upwards of six skirts which were all pretty much exactly the same as this but different colours and patterns. I restrained myself and I just got two because it would have cost me quite a bit of money to buy the whole collection uh, and you don't need that many really let's be honest but um, yeah I will I don't think I really need to show you both of them to be honest. I'll whack up a picture right here of me wearing this last week just so you don't feel like you've missed out. Um, but I'm going to try this on one, this one on now. Yes. Okay, so again, I wouldn't wear it with this skirt. Not that it looks terrible, but it's just not how I would style it. But honestly guys, a button down midi skirt or maxi skirt is honestly just my idea. Of heaven, I love them so much. Bon Marche as well do really good skirts, like vintage skirts. Um, this is just the perfect skirt to me, really. Um, not a hundred percent sure about this belt that came with it. It is very old and a bit damaged. See how dishevelled I'm getting throughout this whole video. Um, but yes, I absolutely love this. It's just really comfy, flowy. I just don't know what more you could want in a skirt and it's also going to be I think anyway pretty a good transitional skirt into autumn because I could wear this with boots and probably wouldn't need tights to be honest maybe just add on uh, a slip and some shorts underneath for a bit of extra layering if needed and we could wear it with a long sleeve top or a little crop jumper or something and then Bob's your uncle so uh yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous skirt. And then we've got one skirt left. This is a vintage new look skirt. It was also $3.99 and I got it in Oxfam. And I love this so much. It's just check. It's a wrap kind of skirt. I'm not sure the shape of the skirt suits me very well. I think this sort of floaty shape suits me a bit better rather than just like a straight down number. But nonetheless, I got it anyway because I really like it. And I've been eyeing up skirts like this for a while, actually. So it's just even better when you can get it vintage. And I was in New Look the other day because I had to kill some time. And uh, they had skirts very similar to this. Whereas this is super duper old. I remember when the labels looked like this when I was a kid. So, yes. This was the top that I thought might look cute with this one but I don't know if that's a bit out there print wise but maybe I'll try it and we'll see. Okay I tried it on with that check top and I have to say it was a big no. I don't love it with this one either but uh, if you could just look past this top and just pay attention to the skirt that would be great thank you. Although it has to be said I am now not 100% sure about this skirt. I feel like sometimes it all depends on how you style it. I feel like if I wore this in the way I'd probably wear it out, then it might be a different story. Hello, little bit of leg there, little Angelina moment. So yeah, I just kind of, I'm not sure about this now. I feel like I'm just wearing a really long kilt, which weren't the vibe I was going for. So I'm not sure. Um, I mean, though, like it fits, at least it fits every cloud. But uh, that is the end of the haul. We've left it on kind of a sad note because I'm not sure about this skirt, which I thought I would really like, but it turns out I don't really think I do. So, sad times. However, yes, we have reached the end. Let us go forth to the outro. So, what do we make of that? How, what do we think of it? That's everything I picked up. 
in the charity shops. I think it's all from charity shops in it. We haven't got oh, we've got one boot fair item in there. I do apologise. And uh, yeah, that's everything I got. Let me know if you have a favourite thing that I got. Let me know if you've got yourself any bargains at the charity shops recently. Just let me know things. Just educate me on everything in the comments down there. Go on, go for it. Um, feel free to follow me on social media. I've got Twitter. I've got many Instagram accounts. They're always linked in the description. And uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. This might be the last summer thrift haul. The next thrift haul we do might be an autumn one. Just saying. So I hope you savoured it while well, you can. I hope you savoured my tan and my shaved legs because in a few months time I'm going to be pasty and hairy. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon for another video. Goodbye, guys. Oh, and also in the next, like, maybe the next thrift haul I do as well, I won't have like an actual mullet. So that'll be exciting. Bye.